If you want to support the channel, check out my brand new book down in the description below. Also, our feature length film, the box truck film, A Tiny House Movie, it premieres. The public premiere is in Brockton, Massachusetts. Tickets down below as well. And we have an assortment of tiny house and greenhouse plans down there too. What's up, guys? Deke, RelaxTracks.com. Looking a little bit tired because we just finished a two day workshop with complete novices. Almost every one of them had really never built anything before. And we built my third robot trios, but what will be here in Newmarket, Alabama at Lee Acres, LeeAcres.com. This place is so cool, so cool. I'm almost at a loss for words. We built uh, the first ever robot treehouse glamping rental. Probably the word should go in a different order. They'll think of some catchy title for it. The robot treehouse rental. I don't know, the first ever in the world that's a robot. What I want to show you on the premises is this cool salvage abandoned caboose that eventually, I guess, could be transformed into a rental because there's a lot of them here. This place is its killer. That's the beach house, the tiny house she rents. Behind me, whoosh, right there, two vintage campers that are being fixed up. They'll have decks and arbors over them, perhaps. Those could be rentals. In the distance, a couple of RVs, a killer pond. I use the word killer again. I don't know why. It's like all of a sudden I'm a 1960s surfer. And the transforming A-frame cabin that I've kind of become almost famous for um, online, plan-wise available down below in the description. That is here to rent as well. But let's check out that caboose. Clearly I've driven the dogs crazy, but this is Lee's collection of vehicles to soon become glamping rentals on Lee Acres. This almost looks like a houseboat, yet it's on wheels. Very cool old fire truck. Scaring the crud out of the dogs. And over here, Here's the greenhouse the other day where I found either a gray rat snake or an eastern king snake. I'll show you a clip of that. Check this sucker out. A dump truck. And here's the caboose, which apparently... These dogs are really going to interfere audio-wise. Uh, is one of like four or five in existence, this style, that is left, period, or exclamation point. 1404, it says something, the wonderful world of Ohio, but it's painted over something that says the Fred something company express. This is a mess right now. As she bought it, hauled it over here. It will be, it has been converted into like almost an RV, but it will be fixed up and done over Lee style at some point in time and rented. I mean, how cool to save something like this. I love what she's doing with reuse, saving things, preserving history. Definitely needs some TLC. Let's go inside where the dogs aren't barking. Now I'm gonna make this quick because some of these places before they're cleaned out, it's like Hanta Virus City, and we're in rattlesnake and snake territory. Who knows what's hiding in this place, so I gotta be a little bit cautious. Uh, there is an RV Association tag. Actually, I hear something moving in there right now. A tag right there showing that this was registered as an RV all right in real time here we go you can see it's pretty uh, nasty but it's kind of cool to show this now because Lee is a miracle worker when it comes to design interior design with her team as well uh, this place is gonna be so cool when it's done there's the tag to show you all right let's hold my breath throughout this I need a ton of work so here is the RV style range, super old school 70s hood, cabinetry, even some even a floral arrangement there. Um, ceiling tiles, I don't want to say what they might be. So this is as you would find, I, could be, I hear bees buzzing around, I've got to be careful with wasps or bees in here, I might get like blasted. Here's the RV style galley eating area, this drops for sleeping. Um, there's a fridge. I am not going to open that. Uh, for, you know, I will. Oh, it's actually kind of clean. I expected lots of mold and old drinks and cottage cheese. Lots of headroom up here. This is the area where you usually be in the caboose, like bunks, in a lot of cases, which would kind of be cut right through the middle here. Here's a reverse view. I mean, this will be so cool when fixed up. Thermostat there. This is the uh, rear area or front, depending which way it's oriented, of the caboose, where I presume it was just a bedroom. Oh, look at this. Holy God. Whoa. 
there, open that. Snake surprise, to quote Temple of Doom. Look at that snake skin. Woo! So there's something certainly in here. Keeping the mouse population at bay, though, that's for sure. Some old school, a lot of the hurricane style lamps here, which kind of date it stylistically. Um, I don't know, just an easy up there. Yeah, more of these. Super old school lacy curtains, which if I touch them, will probably turn into dust. And this curtain, which is like the privacy, non privacy curtain because it's see through. That's kind of funny. AC unit in the ceiling. But here's looking down the other way. What things look like. Just wanted to share. Preserving history here at Lee Acres, where you can rent these cool little tiny houses and that robot tree house I showed you, leeacres.com. Thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, hit that little bell for notifications when I have new videos, and we will see you later. Thank you, as always, for your viewership. Mm -hmm.